Um, so that's really funny. So now when you build, you know, when you participate in the mud building, like what kind of things do you build? Right now, I'm, I just built an earthen oven, which oh. is an incredible way to make pizza. Yum. It cooks it in five minutes, and it's out of this world. Mm -hmm. um, there's a, I know there's one um, fire oven pizza place in town, Shorty's Pizza, and it not only tastes good, it feels good. Yeah. Because it's radiated. Like it's the, it's the sun's, it's the way the sun heats the earth is how fire cooks food. So it, it always tastes better to me. Oh yeah, without a doubt, that's the best way. I mean, especially for like um, those foods of the earth, like grains or breads, you know, definitely stone is the way to go with baking them. Um, yeah, so we're talking all about these, you know, various issues with the mud building and, and um, I wanted to talk a little bit about a song on, you know, this CD that you brought, um, the Cannabis Car song. Mm -hmm. um, mostly because, you know, I mean, we always associate that with marijuana. and um, But this is actually a very important crop that, um, you know, has been utilized, um, you know, for how long? Mm -hmm. I mean, and it, it has so many uses, so, you know... I figure you knew something about that because you wrote a song about it. So. I think I do. I think I do. So I'm, sometimes I'm not sure what I know. But um, I worked on a farm several mm -hmm. years ago, and um, the farmer educated me and um, told me that it was illegal, illegal not to grow cannabis if you were a farmer back in, in the 20s, I guess it oh, was. Oh, right, yeah. Because they used it so much for paper, for it, it was a very important um, product. And it's fun, if you Google it now, you can see the, the paper mills that were, the hemp paper mills and how they made it. Mm -hmm. Not really a mill, but it, it's, it's definitely also an involved process. But cannabis grows wild, it, it regrows itself every year, it's good for the soil. Um, whereas a tree, you know, you have to, it takes many years to grow it, and you want to keep the trees around. They're really good for us. Um, so then I, he inspired me, and Google inspired me to do a little bit more research on it, because it was illegal not to grow it, uh, and then it became legal. And then it was again required to grow it because um, of the war that was going on. Okay. And then um, it became illegal again. And I read that Henry Ford actually created a car that not only ran on cannabis oil, that mm -hmm. he breeded himself. I mean, talk about obsessing over uh, the perfect cannabis to make oil out of. <laughs> yeah. Um, his car was made of cannabis plastic as well. So oh. it's an incredible resource that died when it got illegal. Yeah. And it's very valuable, again, for, for the power to the people. Because um, one of the supposed reasons why it was illegalized is because the minorities um, had their newspapers written on hemp. And oh, so okay. they couldn't afford to have it on the more expensive paper. So once it was illegalized, there was no more of their voice. Hmm. Yeah, in, I think I've heard paper. about that too. Mm -hmm. um, and from my background as um, a raw food chef, I know of hemp seeds, mm. which I love. I mean, they're delicious, and it's a wonderful food because, I mean, you really only need like two tablespoons a day, and it's a complete protein, and it also has the perfect ratio of the essential fatty acids, the omega-3, 6, and 9. That's amazing. Yeah. I mean, so, you know, you can eat it, you can wear it, you can make fuel from it, um, you can make paper out of it, and, um, yeah, so it's just really, like, a, another wonderful gift from, you know, the universe, from God or what have you, so. And I promise all of my fans out there that as soon as it's readily accessible, my CDs will be printed on hemp plastic oh, and in a yes. hemp um, container.